Okay, so this is the completion of square technique for solving quadratics. Now, in this first little section on page 18, it's a recall section. And so they're asking us to recall how to factor these trinomials that have these special numbers at the back end. Binomials, the binomial factors are exactly the same. So the factors are the same and can be written as a binomial squared. For instance, like this C problem could be written as x minus n quantity squared. These quadratic expressions are known as perfect square trinomial. And so those were uh, covered, I believe, on Tuesday when we did the special patterns of factors. So as we move forward, there is a completion of square technique. It's B divided by 2 quantity squared. That right there is the perfect square, I'm sorry, the completion of square technique. Now you may be asking what is B? Well, A, B, C. So the B is the middle number for each quadratic. So we are supposed to take that number, take half of it, and square it. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 squared gives us 64. So that 64 is the C value that creates this trinomial to be a perfect square trinomial. So negative 12 divided by 2 and square it. So negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 squared is 36. So C will be 36. And on this last one, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So 9 becomes the C value. So that technique, this B squared, B divided by 2 squared, that is the completion of square technique. So that becomes very important to solving by CTS. In the next step in this next example, what they're asking us to do is now write this as a binomial square. So we want each one of these trinomials written as a binomial being squared. And so the, the quick technique for that is bring down the variable x, bring down the sign plus, and what was half of the b term? So half of the b term was 8. And so that came from the 16. We took half of the 16. And so here on the b, x minus 6. The x comes down, the sign comes down, and we're taking half of 6. So on the last one, we x plus 3. And so that's how we write the binomial squared from the perfect square trinomial. Okay, now that we know the technique of completing the square, 
how do we solve an equation using that technique? So that's the question they're asking you guys right here. What do we do in the left side of it? Of it is not a perfect square trinomial. So you'll notice, hopefully, that the 12 is not a perfect square. So we've got to make it become a perfect square. And the, the first step to doing that is to add or subtract the constant. The constant is this 12 that's hanging out in the problem. So we now have x squared plus 4x equals 12. This should look a lot like what we were doing a moment ago. Because you have this C that's missing that we have to figure out. So we do the completion of square technique. We bring down the X, we bring down the sign, and we take half of the 4. So it's X plus 2. We have to square the 2 and get 4. Now the 4 is coming from the 2. We're squaring it. Remember that it's b squared, sorry, b divided by 2 squared, just like it says right here. So we finish up. So what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So if we add 4 to the left, we have to add 4 to the right. And so we end up with a 16. And back over here. We just added, that's what we just did. We added the b divided by 2, squared, to both sides of the equation. Because the golden rule of math says whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. This point of the equation, we are at x, oops, sorry, x plus 2 squared equals 16, which can be done, can be solved, using the square root method. So we factored and wrote the binomial squared. We did that already. That's in purple. And we're about to take the square root of both sides. Take the square root, x plus 2 equals, this is the important, this is really, really important, plus minus 4. Got to have both answers, it's a quadratic, got to have two answers. So the final step in solving this equation is to subtract 2, x equals, there's two different things going on here. There is positive 4 minus 2, which is, so positive 4 take away 2 is 2. And then there is the negative 2. There There's the negative 4 minus the 2, which gives us a second answer of negative 6. And those are the two answers for that completion of square problem. So I'm going to work these two, show you the technique one more time. We subtract the constant, x squared plus 4x is equal negative 9. We are ready to do the completion of square technique. So it's going to be x, bring the sign down, take half of 4, square it, and add to both sides. Now this technique is not new. You would have had to do this in geometry at least, maybe algebra 1 as well. Negative 9 plus 4 was the negative 5, so I simplified the right hand side. We're ready to square root. x plus 2 equals plus minus from the square root.
square root i from the negative m square root of 5 cannot be simplified. So that, oh, that's, a, that's as simple as square root negative 5 gets. And finally, we subtract 2 from both sides. x equals negative 2 plus minus i square root of 5. And that is our final answer for example 3a. One last example. Feel free to pause the video at any time if I'm going too quickly. On B, you may notice that this problem is divisible by 2. Every number in that is divisible by 2. So we can simplify our problem by dividing all of the terms by 2, and then going into the technique of completing the square to solve the problem. So x squared minus 2x leaves the space to give me 15. Bring down the variable, bring down the sign, take half of negative 2, which is negative 1, square it, and add it to both, where did that come from? Square it and add that 1 to both sides. That's going to give us 16. Take the square root, x minus 1, equals plus and minus 4. Square root of a number gives you two values. Finish up by adding 1 to both sides. And our final answer is positive 4 plus 1, which is 5, and negative 4 plus 1, which is negative And that is the completion of square technique for solving quadratics.